First of all, batteries are the constraint here. It won't be the manufacturing site behind me. Uh, and, and, and the lithium ion batteries that we use, um, both lithium and nickel are really the key constraining commodities. Could battery raw materials be a huge constraint for the EV industry? And could Ford's $4.5 billion investment in a new battery plant be the key to breaking free from the world's lithium and nickel monopoly? We'll be diving in to give you all the latest. Our modern world is powered by lithium-ion batteries, from smartphones we use to the electric cars we drive. However, the journey of these batteries from raw materials to finished products is a much more complex challenge than we might imagine. Join me as we show you the behind scenes for battery materials and explore the challenges of achieving a sustainable and localized supply chain for these powerhouses of today's age. In 2022, electric vehicles made up 10% of global vehicle sales, and it's projected that half of all US car sales will be EVs by 2030. This means that there is an increased demand for EVs, which in turn increases demand for minerals used in batteries. Unfortunately, there's a potential crunch in lithium mining, a key component for EV batteries. The average electric car battery uses 8 to 10 kilograms of lithium, and demand for lithium ion batteries is expected to grow by over 500% between 2020 and 2030. Moreover, China currently dominates the global EV battery production market with over 70% of capacity. The US has developed some battery production capacity, but it still has a long way to go to catch up with China. The US has identified five critical materials for the EV transition that have supply chains at risk. Lithium, cobalt, manganese, nickel, and graphite. The mining industry and lawmakers have raised concerns about the mineral supply. One of the challenges facing the electrification of cars is sourcing these necessary battery materials, which are often obtained from far-flung locations. This creates a vulnerability in the supply chain, as Ford CEO Jim Farley has pointed out. For instance, Jim emphasized the need to address battery supply chains to achieve EV ambitions. To localize the mining and processing of these materials in North America, Ford announced a $4.5 billion investment in a new battery plant in Michigan. The company aims to secure the raw materials needed to make 2 million batteries by 2026, which will go into their vehicles. Another constraint is the transportation of these raw materials. Raw materials used in batteries can travel up to 50,000 miles before reaching a battery factory, making supply chains vulnerable to geopolitics, extreme weather and price spikes. To secure the supply chain for key battery materials, US automakers such as Ford are investing in their own networks. By localizing its supply chain and reducing dependence on raw materials from around the world, Ford aims to achieve zero carbon emissions. Another highlight in the vulnerabilities is in the current supply chain. It's important to note that raw materials used in batteries can travel up to 50,000 miles before reaching a battery factory. This makes supply chains vulnerable to geopolitics, extreme weather, and price spikes. To reduce dependence on raw materials from the world, Ford plans to secure all the raw materials needed to make 2 million batteries by 2026, which will go into their vehicles by the end of the year. The demand for these materials used in these batteries is skyrocketing on a daily basis. One of the most important components of an EV battery is lithium. Lithium is a key element in the production of lithium-ion batteries. According to Keith Phillips, the CEO of Piedmont Lithium, there's going to be a real crunch to get the material, as demand for electric cars continues to rise. Lithium is a highly reactive material that can store and release large amounts of energy, making it ideal for battery applications. Second, cobalt. Cobalt enhances the battery's energy density and stability, making it a crucial component in high-performance batteries. However, in recent years, the use of cobalt in batteries has come under scrutiny due to the appalling working conditions in the Democratic Republic of Congo, where more than 70% of the world's cobalt is mined. Shockingly, child labor and human rights abuses have been documented in cobalt mines in the DRC, where children as young as six years old have been found to be working in hazardous conditions. An alternative material for cobalt is nickel, which is more abundant and cheaper. 
nickel has a higher energy density than cobalt, which means batteries made with nickel can store more energy. However, nickel has its own set of challenges, such as the tendency to overheat and degrade over time. It is typically mined from sulphide deposits, with Canada, Russia and Australia being the largest producers. Manganese is another material used in batteries, often in combination with other metals such as nickel and cobalt. Manganese is a greyish-white metal that is highly reactive and can store a lot of energy. It is often used in lithium-ion batteries for electric vehicles due to its stability and durability. Manganese is primarily mined in South Africa, Australia and China. Lastly, we have graphite. Graphite is another material used in batteries, specifically in the anodes of lithium-ion batteries. Graphite is a soft, black mineral that is highly conductive and can store a lot of energy. It's typically mined from natural deposits or produced synthetically, with the majority of global production coming from China, due to the need to reduce reliance on traditional battery materials such as lithium and cobalt. Alternative battery materials are being explored. Although lithium-ion batteries currently dominate the market, researchers and companies such as Tesla and Ford are on the lookout for cheaper, sustainable and longer-lasting battery solutions. Some of the alternative materials that have been investigated are sodium-ion batteries. Sodium-ion batteries have emerged as a promising alternative to lithium-ion batteries due to their lower cost and abundance of sodium as a raw material. According to a recent report by ID TechX, the global market for sodium ion batteries is expected to reach $6.1 billion by 2031. Several car manufacturers have already started experimenting with sodium ion batteries. For instance, Chinese automaker Great Wall Motors announced in 2020 that it plans to launch its Aura R1 electric car with sodium ion batteries by 2021. French battery manufacturer Tiamat also developed a sodium ion battery pack that claims it can offer up to 30% more energy density than lithium ion batteries. Well, we'll have to change the name of the channel. Number 2. Solid State Batteries Second on our list of alternative battery materials is solid state batteries. These batteries use a solid electrolyte instead of a liquid one, providing several advantages including higher energy density, faster moving times and improved safety. Many companies including Toyota, BMW and Volkswagen are investing in solid state battery research and development. In 2021, BMW announced its partnership with Solid Power, a leading developer of solid state battery technology. Together, they plan to bring solid state batteries to BMW's electric vehicles by the end of this decade. Similarly, Toyota has been investing in solid state battery technology for years and plans to launch electric vehicles with solid state batteries in the early 2020s. In addition, the startup Quantum Scape has been making waves in the industry with its solid state battery technology backed by Volkswagen and Bill Gates. Number 3. Zinc Air Batteries Maybe you haven't heard of Zinc Air Batteries, but they're a promising alternative to traditional lithium ion batteries. Zinc Air Batteries are cheaper and safer than lithium ion batteries and they have a higher energy density. In recent years, several car manufacturers, including Mercedes Benz and Renault, have experimented with zinc air batteries in their electric vehicles. In fact, Mercedes Benz showcased a prototype of its new zinc air battery at the Munich Auto Show, which promises to provide a driving range of up to 1,000 kilometers, that's 620 miles, on a single charge. Number 4. Graphene based batteries. Graphene-based batteries have the potential to store up to 10 times more energy than lithium-ion batteries, making them a highly sought-after alternative. However, despite their promising performance, commercializing these batteries has proven challenging due to a difficulty in scaling up production and the high cost of manufacturing. Nevertheless, researchers continue to explore the potential of graphene-based batteries and some even speculate that they could be completely replacing lithium-ion batteries in the future. While these alternative materials are promising, they still have a way to go before they can compete with lithium-ion batteries in terms of cost and performance. However, companies like Tesla and Toyota are investing in research and development to make these technologies a reality. One advantage of alternative battery materials is that they can reduce dependence on critical materials that are often sourced from countries with unstable political climates. 
let us know another challenge the EV industry faces in achieving zero carbon emissions. Drop your thoughts into the comment section below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more exciting content.